Everybody, we have head coach Brad Brownell. Um, you know, a little disappointed with the way we played tonight. I, I, we've been practicing well the last couple of days. Thought we played well in our last game, and and uh, we just didn't didn't perform uh, tonight like we needed to. Uh, certainly, give Rutgers credit. I thought their size and physicality really bothered us on both ends at times. Um, defensively, their length uh, was a problem for us. Uh, I, I thought we uh, our details on offense weren't weren't very good. I thought we settled, um, especially in the first half, and took a few quick shots, didn't get the ball reversal that we talked about going into the game. And, uh, you know, Rutgers did a good job. They, uh, they, they did some nice things defensively to just force us to, to struggle a little bit. I don't think we had very many guys play well. Um, I, I thought our guys showed really good heart and grit and fight. In the second half, uh, when we went to the small lineup, PJ was struggling most of the night. And so we, we went with Nas at the five and our guys fought and cut it back to one. Um, but we made some mistakes uh, down the stretch, a couple of defensive mistakes, uh, let them, uh, Harper, get going again. And, and uh, you know, they pulled away at the end. We just couldn't finish the game. Questions? Hey, Brad, Sam from Clemson Insider. I mean, how, how crucial was it just not having P.J. out there, especially going up a, a team with that that kind of length and, and size? Yeah, it was disappointing. Um, you know, he, he just didn't – he didn't play very well tonight. It was one of those tough nights for him. He, he I don't think he competed to get the ball in areas where he could be effective enough. You know, um, he's played really well most of the year for us. Uh, it just wasn't uh, – wasn't his night. Uh, he missed some shots that he made. I thought he bounced back late in the game. I challenged him a couple times, uh, and I thought he, he bounced back late in the game. But, unfortunately, he was in foul trouble, and so we didn't have him down the stretch. Um, but we're obviously a different team when he's not when he's not out there. He's, you know, he could be our best player. He's probably our most valuable player. Um, he's the guy that we need out there because of his size, because, because of what he brings to the table offensively and scoring around the basket. And uh, playing without him for as long as we did was was a real challenge for us tonight. Brad, obviously, you know, you, you guys have had struggles here recently, but it's one game at a time, right? But but how do you also combat that with kind of letting some of these opportunities slip slip away? Well, we can't control those anymore. They're well, the ones that we've lost are already gone. So we don't, you know, we, we need to learn from it. And, uh, you know, we've talked about it. Um, our guys understand that the details matter. And, uh, you know, it seems like when we've made some mistakes in these games, especially defensively, that other teams have, have made us pay. That happened a couple times tonight. Um, you know, we, we just – we have to be more mature. We have to be better in our decision-making and our execution. And, uh, you know, that's – the margin for error of winning at this level is really hard. It's small when you play – you know, big, strong, physical teams like these. And, uh, you know, when you don't execute and play great, it, you're going to have a hard time, especially in a tough environment like tonight. Hey, Brad, it's Phil Kornbluth. Uh, what about the performance of Collins tonight, giving you the double-double? I thought he played really hard. Um, you know, he's good in the open floor and, and uh, made a lot of plays in that way. I was really proud of the way he competed on the glass. Ten defensive rebounds was – you know, huge force. This was a team that really, I mean, every time they shot, there's four guys underneath the the Big Ten logo, and they're they're battling. Um, you know, I thought he really helped our big guys, especially with PJ not being out there quite as much. Uh, his play was essential. And despite the three losses in four games, you're going down to Miami first ACC game. Do you like where you are as you take that first ACC step? Um. No, not really. To be honest with you, I, you know, I thought we were going to play well tonight. I, I just, I thought the signs were there. I thought we played better against Bonnie's in West Virginia. Um, didn't close the games out, um, but I thought we played and executed better tonight. I just thought like we were on our heels most of the night, uh, and I, I didn't see that coming. I thought we practiced really well and we played well in our last game. I thought we would play better tonight. We didn't do that, so you know, I got to go back and watch the film and and correct it and figure some things out and try to help these guys to perform at a better level. Any more questions for coach? 
Okay. Thanks, you.